Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I'm going to talk about the question that I get the most. And that is, should I get an Epiphone or a Squire electric guitar for my first guitar? So I will try to go through, uh, yeah, all the info I have and my view on this question or my my general answers, really, what I tend to answer. Um, well, let's start with Epiphone. I have one of their guitars here, the SG Special. It's one of the cheapest models they have. And usually uh, people are interested in, in the SG Special, the uh, Special 2, the Les Paul Special 2, the G310, which is basically this guitar with some upgrades, and the LP100, Les Paul 100, that's basically an upgrade of the Les Paul Special 2. Um, yeah. And all those guitars have mahogany bodies, double humbucker pickups, and uh, this kind of stop tail tunematic bridge. The, what sets them apart is the quality of the hardware, especially the tuners. Because the, both the specials, the SG Special and the special, Les Paul Special 2 have these horrible bound-to-break tuners. So if you really want an Epiphone, I really encourage you to get like the upgrades, the G310 or the LP100 that have proper, real good tuners. Um, yeah, that's not much more to say about that. I will do a comparing like the brands between each other. So I'll, those are the simple specs on the regular uh, Epiphone range. And then we have the Squires and I have a Squire Affinity HSS Strat here, one of the most sold models, and they have uh, in their cheaper range they have the the affinity the affinity line where they have this that has a humbucker in the bridge position that's the HSS and then they have the regular affinity Strat that has three single coils, these kind of pickups. And the affinity line is. Uh, yeah, it's a step up from the bullet line. That's the cheapest one. And you can tell again by the tuners that are so much better on this one. Compare these to the ones you just saw on the Epiphone. Because the bullet has basically the same tuners as the Epiphone special models. And you can tell that they put more time into making it as well. There are details that are not perfect on the bullet uh, strats that are actually perfect on the affinity ones. And the same with Epiphone. Uh, the special models have lots of um, manufacturing flaws actually when they built them and um, they don't really have those on the G310 and the LP100. Uh, when, when you're getting an electric guitar, there's other things to think about as well. Uh, a Strat guitar or a Fen Squire is a Fender-owned brand and Epiphone is a Gibson-owned brand and they are making copies of this. Are, this is a copy of a Gibson guitar and this is a copy of a Fender guitar. And Fender and Gibson guitars differ in some ways. Not only in the electronics, the pickups, as you can tell, these have... Only double coil pickups and these are single coil pickups. But uh, in other dimensions as well. The necks are the ones you notice most. The Gibson or Epiphone guitars have a shorter neck. So the distance from here down to the bridge is shorter than on a Strat or a Fender guitar. Um, it's not that big of a difference. It's like uh, not even an inch. Um, 
so it's but you can feel it and it feels it's more noticeable with different guitars actually i don't feel the big difference between these two and that could be because of this one coming with heavier strings than this one this has o tens and this has o nines and then the difference doesn't become that big but if you change the the strings on an epiphone guitar to o nines for instance the thickness that's on this one you will really sense a difference the strings get uh, softer to bend it's easier to play because you don't have to use that much pressure and that can be a good thing when you're starting to play um yeah and uh, usually the necks on epiphone guitars on the other hand are wider than the strat or fender ones you can probably see the difference here so that makes the epiphone harder to play so there's really no easy answer to say that this is more easy to play this is not they have both their pros and cons um yeah and then what i like about the strat model uh mostly because squire makes telecasters as well and they don't have this the strat model is very ergonomic you can see it has all these contours and uh, yeah it's really nice to play this one because it's so yeah it's made for humans uh epiphone guitars that are copying gibson guitars are not at all as ergonomic this is the sg is better than the les paul models because it has some rounded edges but the other models are just square and that's can be really annoying after playing for a few hours Yeah, and strats have a tremolo, which I never use. And that's my advice to you. If you get a strat model with a tremolo, don't use it. Because this kind of tremolo is horrible. Uh, I mean, for the time when it was designed, it was something brand new and exciting. And it really made a difference. But today... When you have other tremolo models, in particular the Floyd Rose tremolo, to compare with this is a nightmare because if you use it, you get the guitar out of tune. So if you like to tune your guitars all the time, then sure, use it. If you don't, just do what I do and keep it stuck to the body. You can do that by just uh, there's springs back here and the two screws that adjust the tension of those springs just put them all the way in and then this will stay tight and this will be just as solid as the bridge on this one actually i will do a short sound comparison since you usually like to hear them as well and i will only play a bit on the clean sound and some high gain just so you can hear the difference uh, yeah let's start with the epiphone guitar on a clean sound <laughs> Squire on a clean sound. Thank you. 
And then some high gain. And finally, the Epiphone on high gain. Okay, well, it's up to you to decide. Uh, when I get the question, I usually recommend the Squire. And that's based on my experience with these brands. Uh, usually the Squire guitars are have less flaws because you tend to expect even flaws when they are this cheap as these guitars are. But the Squire ones have been really great, and the Epiphones, some are really good, and some aren't that good, and that can even be the same model. So they are much more uneven, um, in my experience. And I've tried a lot of them. But then again, if you like the feel of one and the sound of one, only you know what's right, so you should get that one. Yeah, this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd comparing Squires to Epiphones. And if you have any further questions, just leave a comment and I will answer them. Okay, have a nice day. See you soon. Bye.